Big blow for Spurs. Harry Kane could be out for the season. We don't know yet. However, this surprised me. In the three seasons since 16-17 combined, Spurs have a better win percentage without him than they do with him. They didn't in the first season, but they've adapted. So it's a blow, but they've had this issue before in how to play without him. Yeah, they've had this issue earlier this season and, and coped really well without Harry Kane. But still, you ask anybody who watches this game and they will tell you that they'd prefer to have Harry Kane than have to do without him. I think as much as you focus on, on, on his finishing and the goals that, that he brings, Harry Kane's a far more rounded, rounded player than, than any numbers would suggest. He's great at holding the ball up, he's great at playing others in, his passing range is, is as good as, uh, as I've seen from, from a, a striker in, in, in quite some time. So as much as, as the stats may want to suggest different and maybe Spurs fans may be, may be hanging on that right now, for me Spurs are a better and, and, and harder team to beat and I know the, what you're saying, the numbers are saying different with Harry Kane in, in the team as opposed to not. Yeah, th this for me is an example of the stats not telling the full story. Yeah. I think everybody agrees Spurs are a better team with Kane. So this season, now they're going to be without and we don't know for how long. This season in total, Spurs have been without Kane for nine matches. And in those games, their win percentage actually increases from 61.5 to 66.7. Now in those matches, we've seen Sun play up front. Mm -hmm. We've seen Llorente, who's not had the best of times. But Sun's back in form. He had that spell away in, in, in Asia. Is he the perfect replacement? Yeah. Son, Son is the perfect player for, for, for Spurs right now. Given what we've seen of him all season long and, and in particular over recent weeks. He's finishing with confidence. He's playing with, 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 with bags of confidence. Um, and I, I think he relishes coming in and playing whatever role. Pochettino asks of him. Yes, they do have Llorente. That's a, a totally different option uh, and, and can be utilised as needed when you want a big front man if it's late on in a game and you, you, you're trailing. Um, but right now, as you see, I think Spurs can cope. They prefer not to, but Spurs, given their style, given the players that, that they have, can cope. Dele Alli also, um, we have to see what well, well, the fortunes are, are for him in, 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 the, in the short and, and, and medium term. But I, I think Spurs have more than enough cover to continue to put up this fight for the top four that, that they've been doing over, over recent weeks. They couldn't have asked for a better fixture next up, Huddersfield at home. Then a double game week and you've got the City game as well. I mean, right now, you could probably play the under-21s and beat Huddersfield at home. Well, listen, Huddersfield, yeah. Aren't, aren't a great team, but you, you don't take these things for granted, especially when you don't have the kind of leeway that you once did um, in, in, in that race for, for top four. And then the, the defining week of, of their season, where we're two games against Manchester City to, to come. Um, and then, again, given what we've seen from Chelsea uh, over the last couple of weeks, and I know they've been inconsistent themselves, given what we've seen from Manchester United, I know they are probably in the low end of, of their own inconsistencies and, and uncertainties around Arsenal who continue to be good at home, you take absolutely nothing for granted. Any of those catch fire and all of a sudden you find yourself on the, on the outside looking in, especially given, uh, as I say, what you've got with, with, with City around the corner. Final question, it's the same ankle that he damaged ligaments mm -hmm. in earlier this season. Is that a big concern going forward about his long-term health? No, right now I, I don't see it as that. Uh, if it was under, if it wasn't, you know, under under any kind of a challenge or, or the lightest of taps, then maybe yes. But when you see the the, the challenge from Delph on on Harry Kane, uh, the twist on on the ankle, that would that would hurt any ankle, regardless of of its injury history, so so to speak. So as of right now, no, I, I think it's just one of those injuries that happens, and players have to cope with, and I'm sure he can. Who goes through Spurs or City? I think City over two legs. Okay, but without Harry Kane.